Hi everybody, I'm excited. I'm here in Ithaca and this is the grand opening of the Ithaca Rescue Mission. And we're here with the mayor of Ithaca and CEO of the Rescue Mission Alliance, which is oversees the Ithaca Rescue Mission that's just opening. Yes. Could you tell me a little bit? I mean, Ithaca's not a major place. I mean, Cornell well, we, University. I, I think it is. I, I, <laughs> I knew I'm going to get heat for that one, yeah. but you know, um, but it's more of a rural community. Sure. So rural homelessness has different issues. Sure, totally. And you know, we're, it's a small city of about thirty thousand. It's a very progressive city because it's a college town. Right. Very liberal, you know. Um, but there is homelessness here, and the, the issue that we have is unlike urban homelessness, a lot of our homeless are truly invisible. Living in the woods just outside of town or even in town, it's very easy for us to ignore them, pretend that they're not there, or even the folks who know that they're there, living in the jungle, for example, right. which is a homeless yeah. encampment we've had here for 80 years. Because 80 years? We, 80 years. Wow. Because we don't step over them in the street or walk around them in the alley, it's easy to believe, to lie to ourselves, and tell them that the people who live out there want to live out there, right. that they're doing just fine, and that they don't need our help. And the rescue mission coming in has really shaken up that, that uh, mythology and, and made us all see these folks for who they are, people who need our support. As those of you that follow me as I've traveled, we've like visited huge, huge shelters. Mm -hmm. And Ellen, tell me about the Ithaca Rescue Mission and the Emergency Shelter and the Friendship Center that we have here. Yeah, so even last night we had 29 people in Emergency Shelter and then an additional 14 in our single rooms. And that's already a little bit over our capacity. Um, but the excitement is that since we've taken over March 1st, 18 people have found housing and six people have gotten back to work. So we're all about ending hunger and homelessness. Mayor Myrick has been saying, he's been a loud voice for a number of years now about we have to bring visibility uh, to the people that are homeless. And um, he's been a tremendous support for the rescue mission and making um, things like the Ithaca Rescue Mission a reality. I, I love when I travel and then, you know, you, you do more of these rural support systems. And, you know, you some places have these huge day centers and this is like a living room. It is. You know what I mean? But one thing that interests me and in, in, um, you talked about it a little when during the grand opening and you mentioned it here you used to sleep on a bed like yeah. what's right behind you. Yeah. yeah. Could you talk about that? Sure. I, well, you know, when I was um, when I was very young, we were very poor, and my mother, my two older brothers, and myself first moved into a homeless shelter when I was one week old. So I spent the first six months of my life in a homeless shelter, mm -hmm. and uh, many many months of my first five years. But as we grew out of the shelters, we were never really into a lot of what you call transitional housing, staying with friends, staying with relatives. And uh, in fact, yeah, my, my best friend allowed me to stay on uh, a pull-out chair just right. like this one um, for about half of my life. So growing up that poor uh, changes your perspective. And getting the chances that I have from folks like the Rescue Mission, places like Cornell University, really shows you what your responsibility is yeah. to pay it forward. Yeah. Um, I'm really grateful uh, that you guys are doing this. And if you, uh, I try to keep the videos short. So the last two comments, if you could, as I travel, I also see the communities that are really having the most impact yeah. are the ones where it's top down, where mm -hmm. the mayor is involved and the mayor. So if you could encourage other people and also other rescue missions and homeless services, how we need to have something like this even in the small, well, not even in, but importantly in the smaller communities. Yeah. Well, I'll tell you, I mean, if I can be brutally honest. Um, Please. Uh, I was not, I think people have to lead their leaders. I was not, uh, this is shameful because of how I grew up. When I took office, I was resigned to the fact of homelessness. I didn't believe we could do any more than we had been doing. And it was folks like the Rescue Mission, like Carmen and Second yeah, Cottages, Second Cottages, opened my eyes, shook me awake, and led me in the right direction. So I think, in the, hopefully, in the last two years, I've been helpful. Oh my gosh! But before, but before that, um, I had to be, I had to be shown the way. Yeah. I, I was once homeless, mm. and I tried to remove homelessness, and now it's everything I do. Right. So I totally can relate. Right. Right. Um, and talk to all other social 
service providers Absolutely. and how we got to get along and, and really have an impact in the local community. I think from a faith-based perspective, it's time for rescue missions to engage with mainstream housing options for people that are homeless mm -hmm. and to leave some of those traditional models and to stop being kind of the group that doesn't play nice with others in the community yeah. and embrace uh, social services, embrace those other members of the faith community and, and those that are helping to ultimately end homelessness for yeah. people. So um, that's something that we're trying to do. Um, we had to answer questions of faith and are we all about proselytizing people? That's a perception, unfortunately, that rescue missions have created. Yeah. It's time to change that brand and to let people know that first and foremost, we want to end homelessness in people's lives. And it's our faith that motivates us to do what we do. Yes. So um, this community has accepted us tremendously and we're excited to see what will happen. Well, if you live in or near Ithaca, please support the Ithaca Rescue Mission. Wherever you live, support your local homeless services. These are our neighbors, and we really need to get these people off the streets into some kind of supportive housing or being self-sufficient. So thank you, everybody.